Hey guys, Country Life Gaming. Let's jump directly into the review of the Acer Predator Triton 500 Special Edition. We're going to go over some key components of it. I'm going to tell you what I like, what I don't like. And uh, as you know, Acer is not sponsoring this video in no way, shape, or form. This is a purchase that I made for myself, uh, and I'm just giving you my thoughts and review on it. All right, guys, stay tuned. Starting off, you have this very, very cool um, reflective Predator symbol on the front of the laptop. The laptop itself is a very slick design. Um, you have some coloration here in the back that is also reflective, but for the most part, it's a very minimalistic laptop, and I enjoy that very much. Um, if you don't want something that when you bring it into class, when you're traveling on a plane, or sometimes you don't want everybody knowing that you have a gaming laptop. And um, this is a very cool laptop. And I really like this minimalistic look. Uh, most gaming laptops have solid black, red, uh, all kinds of coloration, RGB lighting going on. But this one is very minimalistic, and that is one thing that I do like. Up here at the very top, it's very simplistic. You have your power when it's charging and you have your standby mode. Like right now, the laptop is on, obviously, so it's in standby mode and um, or sleep mode, however you want to say it. And uh, next, we're going to get into the uh, other parts of the laptop. OK, looking at the inside of the laptop here, as you can see, still very slick design. You have the Predator uh, information here and you of course have your intel and your nvidia uh, the specs of this laptop i'm going to put it on the screen for you toward the end of the video so you can see all the specs uh, of this laptop and i'll also uh, put a link down below to best buy where you can purchase this laptop as of the recording of this video best buy is exclusive with this laptop uh, at least this exact model, which has the 3070 in it. So if you're interested, click the link down below. But as you can see, you don't have the numeric keyboard, uh, the side keyboard over here, because this is a 16 inch laptop. If you move up to a 17 inch laptop like Alienware or other brands, they're gonna have that numeric keyboard. It's, it's not a big deal for me. I never liked it. I like this a whole lot better. I feel like it's a very slick design when it comes to gaming. Um, because I never use that. The the touchpad is a glass touchpad. It is a very good touchpad. Um, the tracking is great. You have a fingerprint scanner. If so, you choose to um, do that. Um, and you don't have to travel very far at all uh, through that. Moving on, moving forward, uh, the keyboard. You do have the RGB lighting, but it's very simplistic. Only when you touch the keys, okay? If you touch the keys, you have the RGB lighting. Up here at the top, you have the turbo button, which if you turn that on, I will demonstrate what it sounds like. So as you can see, the laptop gets extremely loud when in turbo mode because it is actually boosting your clock uh, speed on the laptop uh, through the Predator Sense app that comes pre-installed on this computer. So let's go ahead and turn that off. And as you can see, it instantly cuts off. And that's something else that I like. Um, there is no winding down like Alienware. Alienware makes good laptops, but um, when the fans are really, really moving, they have a, a moment to where they have to power down this, this laptop's instant. And that's great. You have the fans right here. This is the intake fan right here at the top. Um, and you have two outtake fans, one on the side here and the other on the other side and also on the front of the laptop itself. You have fan exhaust here. On the side here, you have your UGB, uh, I'm sorry, USB, which I already have something plugged in. You have your Thunderbolt, headphone jack, ethernet port, and of course, the power connector cable uh, outlet. On the other side, you have the SD card reader. You have another USB slot, another Thunderbolt slot, and an HDMI slot. 
Okay, let's open this back up here. I'm sorry about the quality. Hopefully the video is not bad quality. I'm having to record it on a cell phone. As you can see, the screen is very nice. It's 16 uh, by 10 ratio. It is an extremely nice color contrast and comfortable screen. Um, so far in the model that I have, um, 16 inches, it has a 165 hertz refresh rate with NVIDIA G-Sync, um, which is standard with this laptop. So far, the only color bleed that I have is gonna be down here at the bottom on the sides of the screen at the very bottom. But so far, that is the only color bleed that I have with this laptop. And I have had it roughly, I don't know, uh, three weeks or so. Um, so let's move, let's move forward in the review. Okay, and I did wanna showcase the Predator Sense out real quick, which is standard on this laptop. Obviously, I'm not playing the game, so the GPU is not being utilized, but this is a temperature screen with your presets at the top. Um, you also have lighting um, where you can change your, your color zones, different things. You have a different mode where quiet mode, default mode, extreme mode, turbo mode. Um, if you want to boost your CPU and GPU, you can do that all here, fan control, tells you how fast your CPU fans, GPU fans are spinning. Um, monitoring, game sync, uh, et cetera. This is a very cool app. Um, and, and I like the fact that it's all in one. Everything is right here and it's very accessible um, for all of your clock, your uh, overclocking needs, your fan speeds, everything is right here in, in this app. And it is, it's very nice to have on this laptop. Next will be the battery life. Um, I have my battery saving mode on, uh, and I, I, I usually turn it off when I'm gaming. I have my setting set to where when the laptop is plugged in, it automatically turns off battery saving mode. Um, but the battery life here is, eh, I would say, average, very average for a gaming laptop, even though Acer said that uh, this laptop is supposed to have improved battery life. Um, during my tests with three weeks with this device, um, Normally playing, I was playing uh, The Witcher 3, uh, the Skyrim Anniversary Edition, a lot of Apex Legends, Fortnite, etc. The battery usually lasts around roughly two hours. Sometimes you can get a little more out of that, and sometimes it's a little less, but it's roughly around two hours. So if battery uh, life is a big deal for you, this probably is not the laptop for you. Um, but anytime you buy a gaming laptop, nine times out of ten, the battery life is not gonna be that great on the laptop itself. All right, guys, so enough of the mumbo jumbo out of the way. This is what you really came to see, and this is how does this laptop perform overall with very uh, intense gaming sessions. So far, I have been playing the game for three hours, uh, and this is Skyrim Special Edition. As you can see in the top right is my NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 overlay. Um, but before we get into that, um, I have extremely modded this game. Uh, graphical mods. This is not the base Skyrim experience. This is extremely high modded game. Um, so you do have to have a stronger PC to be able to run this type of game. And right now I'm pushing 53 steady frames a second. Uh, even with everything at Ultra. All of these graphical mods on. Um, the GPU is only being utilized by 60 uh, 60 to 80 percent most times but let's let's just walk have a look around and uh kind of walk around and look graphically uh by the way if you haven't played this game skyrim's been out for a long time if you haven't had a chance to play skyrim uh you should i mean it is just a great game to be as old as it is so let's kind of wait here and go to daylight time where you can kind of see around a little better. Okay, as you can see, very, very good looking game with these mods installed. But overall, I just want you to take a chance to look at the top right corner as I'm playing and as I'm running through. You have some dips. Uh, let's get into uh, 
Let's get into some some fighting here. Well, as you can see, the game holds up very well, um, very, very well, and I am super happy with uh, this game, but let's also look at another game, shall we? All right, and here is a, another game um, to showcase frames per second in the top right, and this is American Truck Simulator. Uh, these simulator games are always great to really showcase uh graphical parts of the game and frame rates and such. Um, let's kind of look at the outside of the truck. I do have mods on. This is a modded truck in the game. Let's go ahead and crank her on up. As you can see, we're steadily Staying around 60 something frames per second with mods. So let's get on inside this truck here. Turn our wipers on, our lights. Oh, I just love the sound of this truck. It is just a great sounding truck here. Try to make it turn around here in this gravel field. I don't claim to be a truck driver, so bear with me if it's kind of rough around the edges. I'm just trying to give a showcase of this game here. Let's take a quick loop around here and There we go. Right through the parking lot. So there you go. American Truck Simulator uh, running at, you saw it here in the top right corner. Uh, I'm very pleased with this laptop overall. I think it's great for gaming, and uh, so far, it's doing great for the three weeks that I've had it. So let's get back to the rest of the review. Guys, here is uh, the Best Buy site here and where I purchased this laptop. Okay, the 3070 edition that I got, even though I've told you I'm, I apologize, it is actually out of stock at Best Buy. And I couldn't find the link, but I am going to include the link for this version. This is the 3080 version. Um, and this would still be a good buy if you don't mind um, dropping down that TDP just a little bit. You're not going to have full... Um, you're not going to have full power on your 3080 because it's a mobile chip, a uh, GPU chip. But the specs of this laptop... Um, are pretty nice for the most part, considering uh, you got the Intel 11th generation core i7, uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, you have the 3080, 2560 by 1600 screen resolution, a one terabyte SSD, and a 16 inch screen. I'm just going to give you a second. Here are the specifications. They tout 9.5 hours on the battery life. It does not last that long. Like I said earlier, around two, so keep that in mind. You do have the RGB lighting. It is aluminum design. Like I said, it is a very sturdy made laptop.
It is an eight core processor. Uh, Intel really done good on this i7 chip right here. It is a really good chip. And so far between video editing, this video is actually being edited on this laptop right now. This is being recorded on the laptop. Um, and so far I have no complaints whatsoever about this laptop. But as you can see, those are the specs. I'm going to include the link down below to Best Buy. Um, and you swing by, pick it up if you want to, if you have the money. I'm sure there's other options out there um, that are cheaper um, than this Acer Predator. But I specifically wanted to get this device and try this device out. Okay, guys, the verdict on this device. I feel like this is a very solid laptop overall. Um, and if you can afford the price point and the exclusivity through Best Buy, I would buy this device if you're looking for a, a uh, reasonable gaming laptop with uh, good specs. Um, and they also have updated specs. You know, if you want the 3080, you can also get the 3080, uh, the Intel i9 processor and all of that if you choose. But I just feel like when you're really starting to get to those type of settings, you're better off at a desktop um, instead of a laptop because you're really using... Um, you're really losing a lot of power and with the mobile chip instead of the desktop chip. But let me know what you think down below. Did you enjoy this review? If so, please, it'll be a big help to the channel if you would leave a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button for more future content if you're not already subscribed. So guys, thank you once again for seeing this video and watching this video and clicking on this video. And I'll see you soon.